one of the things that continues to amaze me is just to think about how kind and gracious the Lord Jesus Christ is. We have been working through Luke's Gospel uh, on our way towards uh, Easter. Uh, today we're going to look at um, a passage of Scripture when Jesus was hanging on the cross. Luke chapter 23, beginning in verse 32. Two others, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is this called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. It's interesting that Jesus, uh, right there at the beginning, says that he was crucified with criminals. Uh, understand that Jesus Christ was righteous and perfect. He did no wrong. He committed no sin. And yet he was facing the same penalty as a criminal. Most likely a, a thief and a murderer. These are probably some of the criminals that were part of the insurrection with uh, Barabbas, who we looked at a few days ago. Verse 34. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Again, Jesus is hanging on the cross, and he's thinking about the people. He goes to his Father, and not asking for relief for himself, but he goes, Father, forgive them who are sinning against him, for they know not what they do. Friends, when we sin, we rebel against God. We're doing things that God hates. And yet he loves us. He cares for us. And he wants our forgiveness. Verse 34 again. And they cast lots to divide his garments, and the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. You know, we knew that we know that Christ um, could have saved himself right there. But his goal was not to save himself, but to save you, to save me. Verse 36. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the Christ, the King of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the King of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged with, railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It's a beautiful passage uh, to think about how there was two responses to Jesus. Uh, the criminal um, uh, said that it rebuked him, mocked Jesus, save yourself uh, and save us. Well, the other one knew that the only way to be saved was to admit that he was a sinner. We know that what we have done has been, been wrong. What we have done uh, is rightly uh, we are deserving what, what we did for our sins. But this man has done nothing wrong. This man, the one who came in the, in the place of men to die for men, did nothing wrong. And right there we see that um, this man is, is giving faith. He says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This criminal, this thief, this murderer is looking at Jesus and saying, I believe that you are the king of the Jews the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And Jesus looked at him and said, Today you will be with me in paradise. Oh, what a sweet promise. That everyone who trusts in Christ will one day be in eternal paradise where we will be his people and he will be our God. Just a couple questions from this passage is, how precious is it to you to hear Jesus say, Father, forgive them. Do you know the forgiveness that God offers. And number two, which criminal are you most like? The one on the left or the one on the right? The right, the one who mocks Jesus or the one who says, Jesus, save me and allow me to come into your kingdom. I pray that you choose 